in today's video I'm going to be making iron 2 chloride, a reagent that we're going to need in an upcoming video. This is done by very simply combining iron and hydrochloric acid. My iron is very fine grade steel wool, which is in the beaker on the left, and the hydrochloric acid is about 15 milliliters of that, uh, and that's just hardware store hydrochloric acid. So we'll just combine those directly and let them react. This reaction produces iron 2 chloride and hydrogen gas, so there'll be a little bit of effervescence from this. We'll just mash that down just to make sure there's contact between everything. And if you listen, you can hear some of the bubbles happening, and you can see them as well. Okay, I've left the iron and hydrochloric acid mixture to react for a while, and as you can see, it's gotten rid of the majority of the iron wool, and it's turned the solution sort of a lime green color. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of insoluble other garbage that's in there, so uh, I'm going to filter that off. And I imagine all of that comes from probably carbon, because it was uh, steel wool, so there's carbon in the mix. Uh, and various other uh, insolubles. So, like I said, we'll just filter that off. And we should end up with a nice lime green clear solution of iron 2 chloride. But now, as you can see, we've got a nice, beautiful lime green solution of iron 2 chloride. I've let my iron 2 chloride solution sit out for a couple of hours uh, and you can see that it's darkening significantly. Uh, that's because iron 2 chloride is pretty unstable and it very easily oxidizes to iron 3 chloride when just left out in the open like I did. Uh, so the, another way that you can speed up this conversion if you want to is by adding a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to introduce oxygen directly to the solution. And that's what I'm going to do right here. And you can see it immediately begins to get even darker as iron 3 chloride is produced. Now, if you want to regenerate the iron 2 chloride from the iron 3, you can simply add some more iron wool to it, and that will react to convert it back to the iron 2. You can see the color is lightening a little bit. So this has been left to react for a few minutes. And as you can see, I've now regenerated my iron 3 chloride back to iron 2 based on a nice color change. Alright, thank you for watching.